Now, um, I'm gonna do these in the middle. This is for YouTube. I want to do it uh, an hour afterwards. You guys are in for a treat. I'm about to start my first, uh, I guess, Twitch slash YouTube series, and it's called Player of the Month. All right? Player of the Month. Um, and the Player of the Month is L Train. Player of the Month is L Train. L Train is uh, one of the best Lars players uh, on the planet. I think he is the best Lars players on the planet because I haven't seen anyone really place like he has in the last few years. Um, and I need Twitch and I also need YouTube. So we're gonna watch this guy. Um, he had he actually recommended me a set. Um, Puppy Swarm. Yeah. He actually recommended me a set. I believe this is the set, and it's at like one thirty. Whoa! It's at one thirty, I believe. Uh, I don't see. I'm gonna turn the sound down. But uh, let's see, turn the sound down. This uh is from Puppy Swarm. Um, Puppy Swarm does Chicago. They do Chicago weeklies every Tuesday, I believe. So, um, if you ever want to join one of those, um, feel free to, uh, feel free to look, you can look it up and I believe all you have to do is get a Discord, uh, like message them on Twitter and then like they'll, they'll give you the Discord invite and you can join the tournaments. Um, they got heavy hitters in there, Cuddle joins, Shadow joins, Joey Fury, you know, the big names and stuff. Um, what I'm going to do, let me pull this up right here, right? And, but, uh, let's see. They some of the most unique people you ran into. Wait, who was I even talked to? Roshka, those are all my homies. Um, all of them, they're part of a, the game night crew is what I call them. We met uh, at, I met a couple of them in high school and I met a couple of them outside of high school. They're part of essentially, not my group, but our our group from high school. Um, we got Toon, he plays Mortal Kombat. He's a Mortal Kombat specialist. He's the loudest. He's the loudest and hypest in the group. Um, that was the guy you heard you heard being the loudest. Um, let's see, you have uh, you have Billy or well let's let's call them by their let's call them by their handles. You have uh, Legend. Legend is the league specialist. He specializes in league and watches more anime than anyone I know. Um, let's pause this before we watch the set. And also there is Legacy. Legacy is uh, I've known him quite a while. He's a uh, it's kind of like a brother. Kind of like a brother. We been uh you know we've been hanging out forever playing each other in a bunch of different games he specializes in tag games he's uh really good at tag games and his creativity is really high when it comes to uh when it comes to what he wants to do in regards to fighting games so uh those those are just part pieces of my people no 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 tune this is a part of uh this part of my youtube and twitch series so i told you i was getting off and i'm getting off this is uh the player of the week player of the week is gonna be l train um i guess i should get a I don't really need a photo. Yeah, I don't need any photos. Um, but if you must know, he's from Detroit, Michigan. The 313. Uh, solid individual. Super dope dude. Uh, he's super. Uh, he's super knowledgeable about Tekken. He has. He's been in the game for a while. He's been in the game for a while. Um, he's been playing Tekken pretty much. Uh, playing Tekken competitively. I believe he said Tekken 5 was when he started. And he's just a super solid person. So apparently, I learned watch your watch your turning matches from that one tournament. Gave your boy some props. Shit was tight. Yeah, Master Spreader. He's just a dope individual, and uh, he's the perfect person to start to start this uh, Player of the Week series off with. I'm gonna be I'm gonna be going through some of his matches just throughout the week, showcasing his strengths and possibly some weaknesses and maybe some highlights as well. And this is a this is a set he actually recommended. So we're gonna watch this today. I believe we'll just watch a uh, random other clips as well, but this right here is going directly to YouTube. So, and I'm gonna make sure I put on Tekken music, specifically from Natsu Fuji, Fuji to uh, while, while I do this. So, and without further ado, here we go. When I watch grab you, you definitely did got gra get grabbed, uh, Spreader. Now, now let's see. Now, Train is known for being very, very compact. Very compact. He doesn't like to extend himself too much unless he gets a read. And so... So you won't see too much unsafe, unsafe things about him. 
His spacing is really good. He will whip punish. Like, oh my god. Train. <laughs> oh my god. I, did you not hear? I have not watched this set. Specifically so I could react to it. <laughs> I said he will whip punish. And he whip punish back one. I don't know if you've ever wish punish back one. But it's not easy. This is a... Uh, this move is really hard to whip punish because he goes into an auto lock stance after it all the time, right? Uh, uh, back dash. He did the back one. Ugh! Give it to him. Make sure they don't get copyrighted. That's exactly why I'm playing the Tekken the tech music. Playing only Tekken music or only fighting game music during these parts so we don't get copyrighted. So I can put this up on YouTube as an official series. Now. With punish, this uh, likely will be death or very close to. Uh, 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 uh oh. Ooh, oh. We got us a where with. We're not ducking. Ooh, disrespects his dash with the down back 2 1. I like it. That was good spacing, and the round started off terrible, too. So, this is this right here is patented. This is patented train. Well, this is really anybody to play small Tekken. Down 4 1 and a down 4. He loves this. And I know this. Because I studied this guy prior. Uh, it's a really good idea. If you have a generic down four. Like that you could go for. It's not a bad idea to just do down four one. And the down four. And he does it often. I low parry. Almost after almost every single one of his down four ones. Because of this. Because if he makes a mistake and does that. I'm taking 40 what 30. 40 50 percent of health. Or not off of a low parry. You get like what 20 to 40 percent on low parries. I'm taking it. But that's a tendency. But there, once again, you see his spacing is ridiculous. His spacing is ridiculous. Look at this. Look at this exchange. He gets that, right? Back dashes. Uh-uh. Blue bolt. You see that? That's just a, that's a gigantic understanding of the space of your character is what that is. It may seem simple, but he's in a tournament match. This is a tournament match right here. And against Shinblade. Shinblade, if you don't know, he is, I believe, a Memphis. He's a Memphis native, and he's the best Steve from that area. And he's really solid. I don't know if I can beat him. In all honesty, I've never played him. Uh, I do like playing the Steve matchup, but I've never played him, so I don't know if I would actually beat him. He's got a higher... We, me and him have the same rank right now, so who knows? Anyway, gets the perfect here with a good spacing and, you know, some good little pokes going. All right, now... Now it looks like Shinblade is slowing down a little bit on his offense. Maybe. It'll likely down. Ooh, runs in the back one. That'll happen. Eh, eh, eh. All this damage. He's trying to get that perfect back. Oof. Okay, there you go. Gets out with the dig jet. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Sidewall combos. What's the Oki here? Oki, Oki. Ooh, he tried to get him to duck. Because if he ducked, he would have lost the whole match. Ooh, what was this? This dig jab was a really good idea here. I think that was a really good idea. Last time you played L Train, it was pretty close. If you were, if you recall, I believe it, Roshka. I believe it. Not to say that like anybody can't beat him or anything. This is just uh, he's the player of the week because he's a very solid, a very solid heralded individual. Uh, he's got a YouTube. He's he's got a YouTube. He's been representing Detroit heavy. Whenever you think of Detroit, you definitely Detroit Tekken. You definitely think of him. All caps and D towns. Those are usually the people you think of. But normally it's him. He seems to be the most heralded in Detroit. From Detroit, at least. Um, let's see, make sure they don't get copyrighted. Let's see what we got. You beat Shinblade 2-0 uh, 2 in your last tournament? Yeah. But it was pretty laggy and online. Yeah. Yeah, Roshka, congratulations. Um, your tournament victories, um, tournament victories don't really stain legends. Um, that's what I noticed from when I beat uh, Spirogen. Uh, you can beat these people in tournament, but ultimately, what they've done in the past is cemented. So Shinblade has been—he's been very solid. Shinblade, I'll give you a story about Shinblade real fast. This is a quick story about Shinblade, Rashka. You may have beat him 2-0, right, in online in an online tournament. But Shinblade, I went to a, a tournament called Kentokyo Con in 2019, and Shinblade won. Dragon Ball Fighters, he won the Guilty Gear that was at the time, and he won the Tekken at the time. I got third at this tournament. He won three tournaments for Kentokyo Kan, which was like a big, it was a big, 
Kentucky Con slash tournament where they had pot bonuses at. Like and or I think he took I think he may have taken second in a uh, second in Guilty Gear. But I know he got first in I know he got first in Dragon Ball and I know he got first in uh first in Tekken because he beat he beat uh Huga. Huga Huga beat me. Huga beat me. It was one of the times that Huga beat me at, at Kentokyo Kai. But um yeah. So yeah, he's this dude is super talented and what he's done no matter if I beat him or whoever beats him, you can't take away from it. So, not to say that you were trying to, Roshka. Just the fact that this dude is a—he's a solid tournament player. He knows what he's doing. He's a veteran. He's not really going to make too many mistakes. Uh, he's not really going to get nervous as much as someone like you or I would, Roshka. Because I mean, I have—I have a couple years of competitive play on you, but but like essentially, I'm—I'm I'm not as much of a veteran as he is. So I would be more prone to mistakes than he would in the tournament set online or offline, right? So, but yeah. So he tries to get him to duck here. Now that right there was great. It was dangerous because Steve can delay his wall rising one two, but it was great because I think he just felt that that he was gonna do wall rising one into a low, and he did do wall rising one into a low. So that's great. That was a really good uh, dick jab uh, or down jab. Ooh, good spacing by the Steve. He went into a uh, by shin blade. He went into flicker back too. Mm, the flicker got the whiff. You gotta respect that now. They buffed the frames on it. Ooh, down back four. More spacing. More spacing. Oof. Okay, goes for orbital from downtown. Ooh, okay. All right. Looks like shin blade is bringing this back. Running low, I knew it. Ooh, just that forward three dynamic entry. Uh, -huh. running three. Also, the running threes. Now this this victory is set up by this running three. Um, this victory is set up by this running three right here. Uh, he is very good. L train is very good at. L train is very good at doing running threes. I imagine just because he's practiced and played forever, right? But uh, he also sets up a lot after his running threes. So you're, he's like plus, he's plus seven or six, or I don't know the exact number, but it's a running three. The majority of the running threes on the game are plus like five to eight. So we can assume it's somewhere in that section where people don't swing, right? So he sets this up with a forward dash, forward dash, forward dash, back dash, running three, right? He gets clipped out of running three and holds back. Now this creates this creates him wanting to be on defense, right? Because he's not in rage, but he moves forward and presses a button. Moves forward and presses a button, and L train goes for the down back four. So that was just a solid that was just a solid uh trade of events there. So and then we got some commentary while the game is uh while the game is uh loading again. You never forget when L Train went Fang against your Fang. Your boy was stupid confused. <laughs> Some people better offline than online. Yes, I agree with that, Spreader. I'm starting to be confused at which one I am these days. <laughs> to be honest. But uh, but yeah, tune man. Oh yeah, that's how we roll. Laugh and argue about dumb shit. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it happens, bro. It happens. I know. Shoot, I'll be in there with y'all most of the time. <laughs> We just be having a ball. We having a good time. And ain't no hard feelings. You know, we pad you know, we patch it up. Ain't nobody's feelings really hurt. Every now and again, somebody's feelings gets hurt, but they just come back, you know. They be like, man, I was tripping. It'll happen. Whatever. Now, let's see this next match. Does he I don't know if he closes this out or if this Ooh, endless. So that means Shinblade Shinblade got to pick because he lost. That means Shinblade picked endless here. This is Kind of a good idea, but the way Shenblade plays, I don't know if Endless is even gonna benefit him. Ooh, uh uh, Oki. Oh, hold on, we gonna go back after I pour this uh, water. You know what it is. I gotta get my filtered water on. You know what's up. You're definitely better offline. Feels good. I feel like you don't play enough online for me to uh for you to really say that. Um, now, um, to be honest. I feel like you'd be surprised at yourself if you really, if you really played online a bit, spreader. All right, so 
Little chopping. Look, he hit him with this in the first match. The same thing. Down for one, down for back dash. Down for one, look. Play safe. Down for one, down for back dash. Ugh. He saw he did something. Give it to him. Now, this Oki setup is messed up. You can't hold back here. You can't hold back here. He did this against Dimeback. First time I saw this, this was at Dimeback against Dimeback at 2019 Combo Breaker. And Dimeback did the wrong thing as well. He got launched. He almost won the set. It was uh, it was 2-1. L-Train almost won the set. It was 2-1. This right here, can't hold back. Don't do it. Don't do it. Tech roll or delay your get up or something. Don't don't hold back here. He gets blue bolt or he gets arc blast. Either or. He went blue bolt. I don't know why. But maybe that's the optimal decision now. I'm not sure. Uh-uh. Gets the slide. Oki. Okay. He's trying to finish him off, but he doesn't have to right here. Uh, I think Train knows that, but he's still swinging. Oh. Gets up and does a uh, back two. Maybe he wanted the beginning of Blue Bolt. Because Blue Bolt has really good range. Uh, I think he's uh, he's playing fast to match. Uh, he's playing fast to match Shinblade's speed. This looks like real Oki that he got hit with right here. After the sidestep two. Sidestep two. Stomp. This is real. If he presses forward after that stomp, you got to take whatever this is. So... He got up and pressed a button. I don't know what he pressed, but it didn't work. <laughs> okay, good whip punish once again. Spacing is really great. No punish on the low. Ooh, gets the sway. What is that, sway one, two? Ooh, did you really go for the tackle? Oh, man. You get one of these orbitals for that. I'm surprised it wasn't lightning screw. All right, now just go in for the running, the running uh, plus frames. Now, nah, man, you get that offline thought clarity that you don't seem to get online. Silent play to stay down there with that much of a life lead. Yes, yes, indeed. This is a really good uh, exhibition of ouch, of how to get hit by back one. <laughs> this is only the second back one he's been hit by. Uh, Steve doesn't really, and he's done that low twice now in this set. I'm surprised he did it. Oki, Oki. Okay. Couple little pokes. Ooh, good whip punish. Uh, now what? Yeah, I can tell. I can tell Train is feeling real confident about him, about himself. No punish on that. It's all good. They got a trade. We got a trade. Can't punish that. Back to neutral. He's doing a lot of dynamic entries, and that's because you can't punish. <laughs> you cannot punish silent. Uh, what is it? Silent entry. Cannot punish or dynamic entry. Silent one is the one that's uh, on the ground. Good old back one. Don't sidestep me. Yeah, looking at him and comparing conflict, like these guys are definitely two completely different play players. All right, is the silent entry two? Okie, okie. Ooh. Now, uh, uh. Ooh, ooh goes for okie. Uh, uh. He backdashed and ducked and waited. Saw the string. The first part whiffed and he interrupted with a counter hit button. That was good. Uh, uh, now what? Plus, mid. Why would he do a low there? He's been safe all game. Somebody come get this British man off of the Bolivian salt flats. Off of the Bolivian salt flats. So, yeah, this is a, this is a real good showcase of spacing. Which is, I would say, I would say L Train's greatest strength is his spacing with his movement. A lot of people, and I, I make this, I make this complaint uh, when it comes to people that move well, is that they move well but without purpose. L Train is a player that does not do that. L Train moves very well. But also, it is with a purpose, and he's not just gonna backdash. And you see his good backdash, whatever you you're gonna you're gonna you're gonna get hurt for for letting him move or not, not letting him move. You're gonna get hurt in a lot of situations where you wouldn't, because he's gonna punish you with his movement. As for a lot of people, won't like this last even this last round. This uh, where is this? This right here. 
The punish. Uh, I believe he backdash. Uh, where's it at? Oh uh, yeah, it was after this combo. He goes for Oki. A couple silent uh, diamond entries. Backs up, right? Ducks. And he sees the whiff. He sees the whiff from the down for one. And knows a down for one variation is coming. Steve has two. I think he has two or three variations from down for one. And he sees the whiff. And goes the, immediately for the counter hit button. Now, he could have just whip punished this, I believe. I believe he could have just whip punished this. But, maybe uh, maybe he saw maybe he saw that it whiffed, and he was only really in a position to, to counter hit it. Right? Yeah. So, or he was already intending on, uh, already intending on ducking, and that, like, and he just gave, uh, as Shinblade just gave him what he wanted, which was a whiff and another button. So... So yeah, and then clears it up with safe mid. You see, he doesn't really do. There was no lightning screws. I don't believe there were any lightning screws in this match. Which L Train will do lightning screws. Don't get it confused. He would definitely do lightning screws. He would definitely do lightning screws. So, uh, but the thing is, he didn't play unsafe really at all. He did down two, down forward one, down four. He did a couple down back fours, which is fine because down back four is one of the faster stagger block lows in the game. So it's kind of hard to it's kind of hard to like see it and block it. And a lot of times, uh, Lars, you're supposed to use it when someone is swinging. You're supposed to use it when someone is swinging, or you think someone's gonna do a high or something. So that the Lars is down back four will counter hit and give you a launch because on normal hit it just gives you a few plus frames but depending on the range you could take advantage of it or you can't depending on the range so back warning there didn't make a didn't make sense uh are you talking about um you talking about the end of that can tell the pressure got to shin blade i don't know i think that uh in my opinion, I think from the beginning of this match, Shinblade wanted to play a pace that would throw that would throw uh, L Train off. He wanted to play fast and not patient. And maybe this is just Shinblade's style. I wouldn't know because I have not I have not really played Shinblade like that. Right? From this match right here, this is the first match that they play. Right? Low pokes can do 77 damage with wall and range. Oh. You said oh you're talking about Lars? Wait, what are, what are you talking about, Roshka? Elaborate, please. You see this pace that he started right here? This pace that Shinblade started? I believe he was intending on, uh, you know, he got that hit. He went for the low. You see he's swinging? Like, he's like, all right, I'm, I'm going in. I'm going in with everything I got, right? He's trying to end the match. He's trying to end the match fast. See, we're at 48 seconds, and Train is at, Train is at, like, what is that, 30% health? So, are you talking about Shinblade at the end? Shinblade did down forward one into two. Uh, he did down forward one into two, two one. The uh, the feint into the counter hit high. Whatever. He did that at the end. He didn't do back one. He did down forward one into two one. Yeah, he's uh he's aggressive, but he didn't set the pace well. Yeah, see, he tried to. The thing is, L Train is he's he's malleable. You can play him fast if you want to, but he's still gonna be able to play his game. That's a thing that I respect about him. I played him, we are one and one in tournament, and I beat him in a money match. Ha ha, take that train. <laughs> Ooh, in a first to three, thank you. Caps, I appreciate that. But uh, but nah, we're one and one in tournament. And the thing is, with him, with train, you can play multiple ways. So if you wanna play fast and reckless, he can adapt to that and still play. This is an example of that. If you want to play slow and patient, which seems to be the way that he wants to play, uh, if you just watch uh, until he gets his reads and then he gets aggressive, like he can play that way as well. So the thing is, Train is Train is a super solid individual and emphasizes spacing and defense and movement. And those are things that they can't be you can't underrate them. And his play in this set is a very good showing of that. It's a very good showing of that. So. Player of the week, L Train Locomotive, bro, from the 313. I like it. All right. Now, that'll be all.
and we are going to get into these uh we're gonna get into this katarina now i feel like that was good that was about maybe 25 minutes about 25 almost 30 minutes i feel 20 25 maybe i don't know how much that was but that was good 